Hello, everybody. With the Lord's Supper and Passover quickly approaching, I thought I would try and make an unleavened bread that doesn't use any yeast or baking powder. And I'm trying to figure out a way to make it a little bit fluffy so it's not so dense. We're going to take a little bread pan and put some parchment paper in it. And I've got some eggs out of the fridge, but they don't whip up good if they're cold. So just put them in some warm water for a few minutes. And you're going to separate two eggs and just put uh, the yolks in the bowl that we're going to make the bread batter in. And put the whites into a bowl that you can use a hand mixer or a whisk or your mixer with a whisk attachment, anything like that. So we can whip up those egg whites. Whoops! And uh, don't put the yolks in there with it. Let me see if I can rescue this little guy. Get back in there. <laughs> and put your whites in one bowl. And then the yolks where we're going to make the bread batter. So we'll start with two egg yolks and then put a cup of bread flour in there. And then uh, a fourth of a cup of melted butter or you can use oil. This makes a really buttery flavor bread. So you could just do two tablespoons of melted butter and two tablespoons of olive oil if you prefer. And then we're going to add one teaspoon of salt. If you're using unsalted butter, you can add a little more salt if you're using the unsalted butter. And then a tablespoon of sugar just to give it a little bit of flavor. You can add a little more if you want it sweet. And put a half a cup of milk in here. You can just add it to that melted butter to cool it down a little bit. Uh, you can use half and half or milk. I'm just using half and half because it's about to go out of date. So I don't want to waste anything. And we're just going to mix this up. This isn't going to be like a bread dough. This is going to be where it's kind of like cake batter where you can still stir things into it because we're not going to be kneading and rising because we're not using yeast. And we're just going to get those egg whites whipped up until they're uh, kind of firm. Let me take this out here and show you. Whenever we flip over the whisk and take it out, you can see that the, uh, the peak's not flopping over. We've got lots of little air bubbles in there that are just happy where they are. So we're going to take that. And we are going to put those egg whites into our batter there. And we're just going to fold these over. Don't uh, try to pop all the air bubbles and mix it down to nothing. So we're just going to kind of fold these in here. And we're just folding in air, basically. So I guess you could even try taking that bread batter and whisking it up to add even more air to make it more fluffy, more fluffier. <laughs> So we're just going to get that and put it in our little bread pan. I didn't put any oil or anything. This is a good nonstick pan from Cooey Housewares and nothing sticks to it. But I just have some parchment paper in there so I can lift out the bread. And we're going to get that in there and we're going to put that in our oven. We preheated to 375. Let's get all that in there. And this isn't going to rise. It may expand a little bit because when air gets hot, it expands a little bit. So we may get a little bit of puffiness in our bread, but it'll be a lot better than just a uh, flat unleavened bread that has no fluff to it. Let's get it out of here and let it cool off a minute because it's really hot. That cooked for about 35 minutes. I just cooked it until it's a little bit brown. And boy, that, that pan sticks less than parchment paper. I'm going to have to peel that edge off there because it's stuck. All right, that turned out pretty good. We don't have a, a huge fluffy loaf, but it is springy. Let's cut into it and see how that worked out. And if you prefer, I really prefer uh, tortillas for unleavened bread and I'll put the link to that up here so you can either make tortillas or you can make this uh, new made up concoction of unleavened bread that I made. And it's springy. It does have some some fluff to it. So this may be a good uh, alternative to tortillas if you just get 
tired of tortillas for seven days. <laughs> and there's some bubbles in it. So this uh, will probably work out pretty good. It's got a really buttery flavor. I think uh, not so much butter and maybe a little oil instead. I hope you all enjoyed it and let me know if you made any alterations or tried it a different way uh, and put it in the comments down below.